Hello everyone, my name is Reed Collum and I am the Director of Communications here at Hickson United Methodist Church. And I am so happy to be here with you on this Wonder of God Wednesday as we share in the reading of God's Word together. Um, specifically, we are in the book of Ezekiel today, chapters 9 through 12. And just a little bit of background for you on Ezekiel. Ezekiel was a priest who was living in Jerusalem at the time of the first Babylonian attack on Jerusalem. And Ezekiel was actually taken captive. And five years into captivity, the Lord let Ezekiel know that he was chosen to be a prophet and to warn Israel that they have broken their covenant with God and that there are repercussions coming for breaking this covenant. Now, as I was reading through chapters 9 through 12, um, chapter 11 stuck out to me quite a bit, specifically verses 11 through 12, which say this, This city will not be a pot for you, nor will you be the meat in it. I will execute judgment on you at the borders of Israel, and you will know that I am the Lord, for you have not followed my decrees or kept my laws, but have conformed to the standards of the nations around you. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I get a little uncomfortable when I hear the word conformed. Because I think as a generation, we are so prone to conform conformity. We are so prone to want to fit in. And the interesting thing is, is that God doesn't call us to fit in. God actually calls us to be set apart. And we can see evidence of that in the book of Romans. If you want to flip there with me, in chapter 12, it says this. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Now, this is hard. This is definitely hard to accept. Conform conformity, I think, is a problem that everyone struggles with, Christian and non-Christian alike. And this story and these verses make me think of a girl I went to high school with. Now, this girl was the classic case of a Bible thumper. And everyone thought of her that way. And can I just say that she was made fun of quite often because she would go out of her way to buy reading materials for people so they could spend time in the word with the Lord. She got ridiculed because she would look to have godly conversations with people in every encounter that she had. And how beautiful is that? But the world didn't accept it. And can I tell you how many times that I heard this girl getting ridiculed, and I know she heard it. I know from a, quite a few experiences that she overheard what was saying, being said about her, and something that rocked me so deeply, and that she doesn't know rocked me so deeply, was how she responded. Because in a time when most people would get angry and defensive, this girl was just as kind and loving as anyone could be. And as an unbeliever at the time, it rocked me to my core. And she doesn't know. She doesn't know how, how impactful that one little moment was for me because she set herself apart. The Lord set herself apart and she fully walked into that place of being set apart and being different and she embraced it and she was kind. And that showed me the heart of Jesus. And so I hope that that can be encouraging you today as you read through the book of Ezekiel with us that we are not meant to fit in. But the more that we bear the image of Christ, the more people stop and stare and wonder. I hope you all have a great week, and we'll see you soon.